Right, hey guys, I'm just going to make a quick video on how to do some easy tricks. I know I said I was going to do this video yesterday, but uh, tomorrow, sorry. But I'm probably not going to be able to put a video out tomorrow because no girlfriend's coming, so just going to have to do it tonight and see how it goes. So it's a bit late and my family's asleep, so I'll have to be quieter. But yeah. So I think the tricks that I'm going to go through are the easier ones and then I'll do a different video for the slightly harder ones. So I'll probably go over O's. Um, I'll do O's, Tornadoes. Mm, I'm not sure what else but I'll see as I go along so yeah. Um, so I'm still running the um, Venom Vapes, so it might not be as good for this and easy to do tricks, but I'll try anyway. So I may move the camera around and, I'll, and put it on the back of my chair just so you can get a full bigger picture, but if not, it'll be fine. Anyway, so the main thing, I'm going to go through all first. The main thing to do when you do oars is to get like near enough to a perfect circle with your mouth flat. So then that may look stupid but what I'm trying to say is to get an oar that won't like deform straight away. That's how you do it. But it's also in the throat so you make like a I'm not sure whether you'll be able to pick that up on mic but because I have to be quiet because my mum's really right above me so but yeah so I don't know because I've got two doors in here so it might be a bit drafty I'm not sure but So I've got a few there but it it just takes a bit of practice, I'm a bit out of practice at the minute so but yeah the main thing is just practice and practice and practice and eventually you'll get really good at it. Like before I was really good at it. Um anyway, so the main thing is when you're doing it, yeah, you need like no air current in your room at all it will, wherever you're doing it it needs to be like no drafts or anything so if you want to you can put a towel under your door so it stops that from coming in and close any windows stuff like that that's pretty simple but yeah um, anyway uh, I'll do tornadoes in a minute but I'll just show you a few more walls Oars, and I'll see if I can get it down a bit better. I'll move back a bit as well. There you can. See, the thing is, this is a bit crappy liquid and. I've got a sore throat at the minute, so, but, <sighs> drip tips coming out, but it's a bit loose, anyway, <coughs> excuse me, so, just try and practice as much as you can, um, anyway, uh, I'll move you down onto the floor, so you can see a bit better, the tornadoes, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I can't like edit it so it's just straight away but
so you can see now. And it's, as you can see, it's not the best at e-liquid, so you're not going to get a really good coverage of the surface, but, and the surface isn't too good, it's just because it's quieter in here than in my room. So, when you're doing it, try and get it as big as you can in one spot, but try and make it as big as you can, so, when you're doing it, you want a good area about that big when you do it so you can get so there's enough so when you go up there's enough to keep that tornado going so yeah when you do it it's also important to remember to keep your hand slightly cupped like that yeah. you can see that where my hand goes in so when you go in like that oh, let's tell you that a minute when you go in like that because you're cut into it and then you'll flip it up and that's what gives it the spin and if you want to make like really tall tornadoes so you can do tricks like where you go drag it up and then pull it up like that but do it even quite fast like that so it keeps it spinning and then just go and then just suck the tornado in again that's usually quite a good party trick but See, it's not the best with this air liquid in the surfaces that I have. If I had like a really flat black surface, it'd be a lot easier. So I guess a lot easier, but because it's not, it's all like fabric and stuff. But you'll be able to get it down eventually. So the easiest way I could describe it is when you do it, make sure you have the right like kind of flick when you go up. So it's got to be enough. So when you tilt your hand and scoop it up, scoop a bit of the vapor up, but then twist like that and bring your hand away. Because then it'll also bring it towards you. So you can keep going. Um, another thing. Right. I'm tired. I've been at work and cadets and everything. So sorry about the um, video. Anyway, so I think I'll leave it there for today. And... Probably not tomorrow, the day after, I'll either do a build video or a better part two on this where I do some more experience tricks like the jellyfish. Um, what else is there? Actually, I've got another one I'll go through in a minute as well. Right, before I do the rest. Right. I think it's called the dragon, I'm not sure, but it's where you blow it out the sides of your mouth. And down through your nose, I'll just give you. So, yeah, that's it. Right, so when you're doing this, it's important that you do not have a blocked nose because if you do, you'll end up with it coming out of one nostril. So, and some people may find this really difficult because I found it really difficult to do at the start is to breathe out your mouth at the start of you. But it's just like just breathe out fully. Like when you do it, just go and then it'll like clear it, your airways out enough to do the full thing. So when you do it Make sure that it's not like coming out of one more than the other, one side more than the other, because it makes it look off like. So, yeah, that's really all I can say on that. Just 
keep practicing please i know it's not the best like information but this is just the way that i learn and i just learn from youtube videos so really this is the easiest way i can teach it to you because it i learn easy stuff <laughs> anyway so the next one like it's just an add-on to that trick but after you've done that save a little bit to do an O through the middle and then it'll be like an X and then just a perfect O coming through the middle it looks really smart, I don't know where I'll be able to do it as you can see I haven't done it in a while but I thought I may as well just to uh, help some people out like the I started small I started vaping when I was um fifteen so I'm now seventeen on Tuesday so it's just one of those things it's to help I know it's bad saying to help out the younger people but I know it's mainly the younger people that want the big E six in the world. And I just want to stress the safety if you're going to use something big and hefty like this. But, yeah, I hope I helped a little bit in your quest to looking good at house parties and pulling some girls. And if you're a girl, pulling some guys. Or just trying to look cool in general. Because we all know vapors are cool. Like me. Oh, joking. <laughs> that was terrible. Anyway, so... I would really, really appreciate it if you liked, commented on my face, like, actually PM it on my Facebook, because that's what I'll get messages on and what I'll be able to reply on. Um, subscribe if you're feeling really generous, or if you just generally want to help us start out like me, because I'm going to try and start putting videos out every day, which I've been trying. But yeah, so, like, comment dislike and tell me what you didn't like about it and I'll try and change it for you but anything else I'll do my cool little outro again because why not